I think that's what you're seeing. It's been mostly just positive news recently with legislation happening in about eight states this year. I think that brings the total up to 10. So that's what we've been seeing over the last six or seven months. It's a real business, too. Uh, how much money have you, have you raised for this? Uh, over $600 million. I mean, that's un unbelievable. And then the numbers are, everything's doubling. Uh, some things are doing more than doubling, right? Yeah, year so this year, this year uh, we've had a great first half. We're looking forward to NFL. What are the numbers? Uh, the first half, we we're up almost double on the year. We had a little bit over double, yeah, 98%, a little bit over doubling on our customer side. Uh, our preseason NFL, which preseason, just like the real NFL, it's, uh, it's a good indicator, but sometimes the real season is a little different. But preseason's up about 70% year over year, which is great. What was up in the first half? What were the sports that were really driving it? Uh, a lot of NBA, uh, a lot of baseball. Golf's been a great sport for us. Um, really, everything was up year over year. I mean, I, I know how well um, Final Four works when I have some skin in the game. It's not even skin. It's just... Pride. Yeah, Fun. it's just going out with other people. And it is, and it's like the most obscure game. I'm like watching at the end, just like, you know, I, I can't even leave the room. I'm like, palms are sweat. So that's the way I'd like to have that. Uh, maybe sometimes I'd like to have that feeling. Can I get that for for every NFL game? So I have guys in there that 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 I want to do well. Is that how it works? Or something? Yeah. So it's basically for the day slate of games. So you're never picking from any one game. You're always picking from multiple games and you're picking players, not teams. So you're more concerned with how well the players do. And Obviously, there's a relationship in that the players that are on teams that throw a lot might get a lot of throwing stats, that run a lot might get a running stat. So you're really studying the statistics, looking at how they play, looking at the matchups, and trying to figure out which players are going to do well. All right. And so I put my credit card in. What do I start with? How much money? I mean, whatever you want. You can play for free if you want. A lot of people come in and play for free as their first And try. I can win millions playing well, we for have, free? We have a $100,000 game um, <laughs> right. that is free that starts really? week one. Yeah, it's $100,000 in prizes. So you have to put in $3 if you want to get the million one. But the, the free one is $100,000. Like well, it's a lottery. Not, yeah, you know, like you the told lottery. me not to. Tax uh, on the stupid. Yeah, I know. Um, what, and how do I play? You're so smart at guessing all these Well, it's yeah, free, yeah. so it's not that stupid. Right. How do I do, <laughs> how do, I do golf? What do I got to do? Uh, golf is a great sport, too. It's actually been very popular. A lot of our NFL players because it's once a week, so it's less demanding than some of the sports that are every day. Uh, very similar to NFL. You're just picking a roster of golfers. Those golfers are going to get stats, like things like, you know, stuff you're familiar with, like birdies, but also you're going to look at things like greens and regulation and stuff like that, and those translate into fantasy. Points. How is your business uh, different than, than FanDuel, for example? It's actually very similar in many ways, but we have, I think, a much more robust product offering. We have a lot more sports that you can play, and uh, our feature set, I think, is a little bit more rich. And in terms of a, a growth long term, is it just in the U.S.? Do you think you can get into Europe in a big way? There's a lot of players already in Europe, for example, and elsewhere. Yeah, we just launched about uh, six, seven months ago in the U.K., which right. has been really exciting to see at the beginning of EPL season. Everybody talks about NFL now, but EPL season, English Premier League, just started about a month or so ago as well. Um, it's been great. UK yeah, is a great market. They us, don't they? Uh, well, it's actually funny because people think that UK fans are uh, so much more rabid, but it's so similar to the US fans over it's there. It's rabid too, we just don't recognize it. You know, sports fans everywhere I go around the world, it's so similar. It's, uh, it's really just the love of the game and the passion that they have for, for hoping that their teams But how much more competition well. is there already in some of those other markets? Well, the UK, for example, has almost 10 million fantasy football, which fantasy soccer to us right. uh, uh, players, which as a percentage of the population is actually quite similar to the 50 million plus in the U.S. Okay. Um, so at least in the traditional season-long format, uh, manager leagues, as they call them, have done very well over there. And so we're hoping that our ver version of season-long, excuse me, our version of fantasy football uh, does well over there as well. Advertising is a little different than it's been in the past, right? It seems toned down to me from you and some of your competitors. Yeah, I think last year was a big year and um, we learned a lot. We learned a lot in terms of what worked and also what's too much in terms of brand in terms exposure. of bringing regulators in and bringing law I think there were a lot of negatives that came. That was one of them. But it was really just a symptom of overexposure, I think. And we learned, I think, uh, the right amount of advertising is, is still, um, you're still going to see us. It's still going to be something that this time of year people are going to see on the air and see in various places. But I think it's going to be. I'm not going to see the guy with the backwards hat saying, woo, 
that one. No, I think the message is a bit different. We just launched a new program this year, a new feature for our product, excuse me, called Leagues, which allows you to play with your friends. You can form these groups of friends, almost like your little clan that you can play People with. People on and Twitter even, right? Yeah, yeah, it's so similar to all the social media, and I think that's gonna be huge. I think that's the real next phase, and we wanna emphasize that a lot more in our advertising. And last year was a year where we really burst onto the scene, and I think the message could have been better, and this year we're learning from that. Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.